the world's richest man is backing this SPAC. Bernard Arnault is the chairman of LVMH. A few months ago, Arnault became the world's richest man, with a net worth of $190 billion. So why is Arnault investing in this SGX SPAC? We tried to figure this out. Well, the first thing we noticed is that instead of one sponsor, Pegasus has a group of sponsors, two investment funds and two guys. Jean-Pierre was the CEO of Unicredit and chairman of the European Banking Federation. Diego de Giorgi was the head of global investment banking at the Bank of America. So in the banking world, these guys are like pretty high up there. As for Tikehau, it's a European fund manager with about $40 billion in assets. Still, most people will have no idea who these guys are. So we dug a bit deeper. And here's what we found. All these four sponsors are actually linked in some way. Agash is Arnaud's family office. They've been a shareholder of Tikahau for about 15 years. And before he joined Unicredit, Mustier used to work at Tikahau. So in 2021, the SPAC market was super hot. And Tikahau's bosses wanted to launch a SPAC. As the story goes, first they approached Mustier. Then both of them got Arno and De Giorgi to join in. Apparently, Mustier had been working with Diego on investment deals for over a decade. So for the last two years, this group of investors have been working on SPACs. Pegasus has already listed two SPACs in Europe, and one did a deal last year. They bought Bonage, a company that makes TV shows like MasterChef, The Voice, and Black Mirror. Now, Tikahau has about $40 billion in assets. They could probably afford to buy Bonage on their own. Why would they need to get Arnold involved? Think of that time Elon Musk bought Twitter. Some of the world's biggest investors got into the deal. Not because Twitter was a great business, but because Elon has done it before with Tesla and SpaceX. So what if you're not Elon? What if people in general don't know who you are and your track record? Then you want to say, look, I have some really successful guys backing me up. If they're willing to work with us, why aren't you? Like most of us who do not know Diageo or Take A How, but with LVMH, Arno has already built this huge global brand that everyone knows about. So it's like a shortcut. You don't have to sell yourself because Arno is doing the selling for you. In fact, just this month, one of Arno's SPACs, the L. Catterton SPAC, announced a deal with Lotus Technology, a well known luxury car maker. L. Catterton will be buying a stake in Lotus Technology, and Lotus will go public on the NASDAQ stock exchange. This is quite interesting because the market hasn't been doing so well, so we hear much less about new IPOs and SPACs. But Arnaud's SPAC still managed to secure a deal. Not just with any company, but a pretty well-known one. So this is why when people talk about Pegasus SPACs, they bring up Arnaud because this is what makes it special, right? The world's richest man is backing this spec. The upshot here is that if Pegasus can get a better deal because Arno is involved, then as an investor, Arno also wins from all of this.